Hi guys, how are you? Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon for all of us. I'm very honored to be in your homes today. And special thanks go out to Ora Cabeza. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much, Gladys Nansamba, for subscribing. Thank you, viewers in Jamaica. I see you on my uh, chat board. I also see people from Nigeria, from Kenya, from UK. The numbers are shooting up from India. Guys, thank you so much. I'm very, very happy and very glad that you are telling friends and people are subscribing today. Because I'm very glad, I've chosen that we make grasshoppers. Guys, they are finally here. For a long time, we've been wondering where are the grasshoppers. They are here, all of you, viewers, subscribers. And I've waited to add them to our menu for a long time. Now, before we do anything else, I just want to show you the ingredients that we are going to use in order to prepare grasshoppers. Now, the things we are going to use to do our grasshoppers is this baking tray. I'm going to make two types of grasshoppers. Those that are oven baked and those that are on the fire. So that there is no excuse as to why we cannot make them at home. And what we need is salt and an onion. I've soaked mine in water because the secret to onions not acting up on your eyes is water soaking them in water and a green pepper some water and vegetable oil now i would start off by washing my grasshoppers you see when you get them you would think because you bought them when the wings and legs are taken off and all those other bits that we don't normally want on our grasshoppers and you'd think they are clean but the way they take off the feathers the legs and the any other bit the the pointed bits and the bums is you some people use different things to take them off so we'll have to start off by washing the grasshoppers so i'll soak them in water that was the reason why i got water and then i try and turn them gently so that whatever they use to get them cleaned or take off the legs and feathers gets off as you're seeing me do now when you're happy and you think all the dirt the residues have collected at the bottom you can take them out of water if you've been wondering how come if i buy grasshoppers when i buy grasshoppers at home they don't turn out like the ones i see on the streets the secrets are very simple guys and today we are going to learn how to make them at home as you're soaking you're giving it, you're giving them that personal touch ensuring that all the dirty things are removed now i'm going to get my my pan i sprinkle it with some bit of oil now this is an oven tray but i'll do the same thing for my pan i put like about a tip uh, because these are four cups I would put about four tablespoons of oil. Yes, oil. Because if you don't put oil, they will dry out and then they won't come out like the ones you see on the street. Those guys fry them or they bake them. Even when you're going to bake them, in order for them to not to strain so much and be drained and come out really too dry, you need to oil the pan so that the cooking surface is oiled then they don't stick and they come out nice and crispy for those of you who want crispy ones now I'll take out my uh, my grasshoppers and put them on the tray remember I said I'm going to put some on the tray for the oven and for those who have ovens at home and then and others I'm going to put on a frying pan for those who may so no more excuse, I don't, I can't make them. The videos I've seen. Now, these are the ones that will go in the oven. Now, I need to divide them so that I have also those ones that will go on the pan. 
So this is my pan. I will do the same thing. I will oil the pan with about two tablespoons of oil so that they don't stick when I'm, I put them on fire. Now I am going to use gas, but for those of you who use charcoal stoves, it's still the same concept because even on the gas, I'm going to use low heat. I'm not going to use the high heat, so because I don't want them to burn. It needs controlled heat. I'll do the same, drain them out of water and put them on the pan. If we don't wash these guys, they are not clean. They would be clean by themselves, but the thing is, they are, the way they, they remove the feathers, the wings, is what makes them dirty. So, in order to keep them clean, you need to wash them. And the washing does well for us because it will even help them absorb the salt that we need to use to season them. Now, I'll put these on the side and stay with the ones on the tray. Now, do you see the water that they came out of the grasshopper washing? So there's no way you could cook them with this kind of water in there. So I'll put that on the side and then time to salt my grasshoppers. You don't use a lot of salt because a lot of salt will make them too salty and the people going to eat them will have to be thirsty many times to finish them so what you do you just put just enough depending on the number the amount of grasshoppers you've got now to ensure they are well seasoned i'll shake the tray a bit so that they get to have the oil on top and also at the bottom You do this gently so as not to squash them and they come out all soggy and messed up. So after I've put my salt, I'll do the same to the grasshoppers that are going in on the cooker. You saute your, 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 your grasshoppers. These ones will be in the pan, so I'll put some salt. The same thing you did to the other one is the same you do thing you did to this one. It's just that the cooking methods are going to differ, but they are still the same grasshoppers. Now, after I've mixed the salt, I will preheat my oven for those that are going in the oven. Otherwise, the ones that are going on, on, the, on the stove will start off just the way they are now. I'll just cover. The reason I'm covering is because I don't want my grasshoppers to be overcooked or burnt, so I'll cover these that are going on the gas and preheat my oven. Now, as the oven is preheating, I'll chop up my green pepper. And remember, I've put the grasshoppers that are in the pan on heat as well. But it's a medium-low heat. So for those of you who are using charcoal stoves, it's still the same. Don't let your flames burn too hard and then you put on the grasshoppers. You can add some ash and make them a bit medium heat so that you can be able to fry and not roast or burn your grasshoppers. Now after I'm sliced, after I've sliced up my green pepper, these ones will go in much later. So as the oven is preheating, I'm keeping myself busy and finishing up with the rest of the preparations for the grasshoppers. Now these ones I'm going to slice into small bits. They will give the grasshoppers that aroma that is irresistible for those that enjoy grasshoppers. And when I'm done cutting up my green pepper, I will do the same to the onions. Now, if I have, like I do, one onion, and I have all these grasshoppers, 
I would still divide that grasshopper, that onion into two, so that some go to the ones which are on the cooker, and then others go to the oven. Right now, I'm starting to hear the ones which are in the pan cooking, but that's no worry. They will bring water as long as you've covered them up. So you cover them and let them stay on fire on medium heat. Remember, we sauteed them, so. They are absorbing the salt and the little oil that we put on the pan will keep them from sticking on the pan and burning. These are like those of you guys who have crabs or lobsters. Here in Uganda, we don't have crabs, neither do we have lobsters because we don't have an ocean. Now, just the same way we feel about lobsters is the same way you guys feel about grasshoppers. You should try them in order to know what it is we are telling you these things are about. They are rich in proteins. They are rich. I mean, they make you full even when you're just eating. You can have those for lunch and that would take you through the day. They have a good protein that is not worry, even to vegetarians. Some people who don't eat meat find these grasshoppers okay to eat. I'm not saying it's the thing you should do, but I'm just saying some, because I've got a friend and special shouts go out to Kathy, who doesn't eat meat, but enjoys grasshoppers. And special shouts also go out to Alan Matovu. You are my biggest fan. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting. Now when I'm done, now you see how I sliced my onion into two? So the one half will go into the first batch that goes in the oven and the other half will go to the ones that go in the pan. So I will move my half of the onions this will go to the frying pan one and half of the green pepper that will go to the frying pan ones. Then I'll put those on the side and cut up the ones that will go to the grasshoppers that are going to be in the oven. Guys, if onions have been giving you that hard time, just soak them in water before chopping and right after taking them out of water, slice them up. They will not act up on your eyes anymore. Or that much depending on how long you're going to be dealing with onions right now um, my eyes are tear free and I'm enjoying it so now I have only one onion for those of you who have a lot of onions go ahead and go crazy with onions grasshoppers love onions that spice that comes out of them is really good for for the test buds because we are going to still divide these ones into two. The ones which are on the plate and the ones which are on the board. So these ones I'll divide into two, meaning some I'll put when I'm still cooking and others I'll put when they are ready. So this half will go to those that are not yet in the those which are in the oven cooking and the other half will go when they are done. Now my oven is heated up time for me to put them in the oven now i'm checking on my grasshoppers that are in the pan to see how they are doing if you can see guys they are all the same color now they've changed from green i don't like the way they show grasshoppers on social media in like on tvs in america they show grasshoppers that are uh, strange colors they are actually not grasshoppers, they are locusts. And we don't eat locusts, we eat grasshoppers. And as you can see, the color is way different. Maybe there are people that eat grass locusts, like in Somalia, but I guess you can understand why they are eating locusts. Because that place has been war-torn for so long. But in Uganda, we eat them guys, as you can see them here. Now, because they've started changing color, I will add onions to them to give them some taste and some 
aroma i'll use half of my my onions and then mix then cover again this is to allow them to cook at low medium heat but the ones which are in the oven i'm um, baking at a 185 degrees celsius for the first 30 minutes that means they are going to slow back until I'm happy with what I see, then I can take them off. Now I'm going to cover these for yet another five minutes and then check on them later. I'm going to check on the ones, these guys in the oven, see how they are doing and if they are okay, we add some onions. As you can see, they've also changed color. Now time for me to add some, some onions so that they can also get that good aroma while they are producing these fluids that will keep them moist and nice. So when you put the onions, you mix and then do the same thing, spread them out, making sure that all of the, it's flat topped and all spaces are covered. Then you close again and wait. But then it's time to check on the guys on the pan. Remember we are doing so time to check on the ones on the pan. Yes, these guys are also looking good. Remember the ones in the oven are being cooked at uh, 185 degrees Celsius. And we put some oil so that will keep them from drying. As you can see, these ones are also doing fine. They are given time to cook properly because I'm covering. And if you're in the kitchen with me, you would smell the aromas because of the onions that I put in there. We cover them again. We just keep on checking until all the water is dried up. And then... We give them a little, few, a few other more minutes to do their thing. Then we take them off and let them cool. Now, guys, time to check on these guys. See how they are faring. See if we are taking them off or giving them another few minutes. <coughs> but as it looks, it seems like the water has dried out. I'm shaking them up a bit to see that the ones at the bottom also get to have a chance to dry up. <laughs> These guys are amazing. Now I can cook them when they are open because they've already absorbed the onions, the aroma from onions. The green pepper I cut and onions are going to be used much later. just to give them that raw onion smell. For those of you who like the smell of onions and the green peppers. Now for those of you who have the red peppers, the yellow peppers, go ahead and use them. We don't have a lot of those here in Uganda, so I'm trying to use the ones that we commonly find in Uganda, which is the green ones. But there is no limit to what you can put in here. Some prefer using chili. If you're going to use chili, now is a good time to introduce the chili. <coughs> Once the water has dried up, you can put the chili and cover for about two minutes so that the chili loses its rawness. Um, for sure, certain my, my grasshoppers are ready. For those of you who want yours when they are not too dry, now is a good time because once they they stay for long, then they lose the, the weightness that you would want to feel or taste when you're eating. The oven ones would come out different. Most of my family and people will like them crispy. These ones I made for you guys, so you can see that it's can, they can still be made at home on the gas. Now, I'll put my other... You can go ahead and test. 
it's here you know whether your salt is there it is enough now i've tested and my salt is not enough i'll sprinkle some and add some water why because i don't want the salt to stay on top i want it to sink into my grass for pan and the water i'm adding is not a lot i'm just adding a few spoonfuls of water this will allow them to absorb the salt and when i eat them they won't be when the salt is on top but it's not inside when i bite through them otherwise if your salt is enough your grasshoppers should be almost there now you can see just by the change of color some people like to bite through them and feel the crunch others want to bite through them and and just be when they you know like these tummies they don't want them they want them flat out i don't so i want mine when they're juicy i'll cover for now allow them to sit for another two minutes and absorb the salt and the water dries up then i'll take them off now guys time to check on these guys as well see how they are doing as you can see they've dried up oh they are almost dry i prefer the ones that are oven baked because they come out crispy though you don't want them too crispy you want them to still have some juice in there so i'll give these ones a few more minutes like five while i check on the other ones upstairs remember my timer was for 30 minutes so it's now left with about 10 minutes five ten minutes five minutes to check on the ones in the oven now time to check on these guys where we added water see if they've absorbed the water and the salt yeah that's what i'm talking about see now these oils are coming from them I'll now cook them when they are open, ensure that the bottom is dry before I take them off. They will start sizzling by themselves and once you let them sit, they will cool and that way you're able to taste the goodness of grasshopper, Ugandan style. That is left for just us. So in case you're in Uganda and you happen to see these guys sold fresh, buy it go ahead and buy them look up the video and watch them do them at home it is fulfilling when we can do many things for ourselves at home see how they look this is good guys now these guys have been cooking open and it's time for me to turn off the heat and then add the raw onions and green pepper. I sprinkle them on top. These will work with the aromas and the taste. See how they look, guys? I'm going to show you. You tell me what you think in the comments. If you like them, if you think you can try them at home, just let me know now mine are ready i'll cover for a bit just so my grasshoppers get to absorb the onions and green pepper and then i'll check on the ones in the oven i don't need to actually check on them because they have a timer so once my time is up they should be ready crispy and dry just the way they like them at home now guys, I'm taking the ones from the frying pan. I'll first of all show you how they look. After I've put some green pepper 
and onions in there and my timer has gone off for the ones in the oven so they relatively took the same time but you'll be able to see the difference now let me plate the ones from the oven and you will tell me which ones looked better they may seem like the same but they don't look the same and neither do they taste the same these ones are not too crispy because they are those who want them like that but they are, the ones in the oven are guaranteed crispy ones because the heat comes from both up and down these ones the heat is just from the bottom and the steam when i cover makes them ready now those ones are the ones that came from the frying pan but i want to show you the ones that came from the oven See how these guys look? That's how they look. These ones are much more fuller, yet crispy. I don't know how it works, but the oven ones are always like that. Now, time for me to add the onions, like I did to the ones which went on the frying pan. The aromas in the room, guys, are incredible. So if you want to try, you're free to pick which style suits you. But these, even just by mixing of the tray, they make that crunchy noise. For those who want theirs really dry and crispy. These ones, the onion seals the dill and the green pepper together. So I'll let these guys sit, but I'll first of all show you how I'll plate mine. I've seen videos where someone serves food and then puts them on the side. I wouldn't. I just have them the way they are. Sometimes guys get hilarious with these things. But who can blame them? They are a, a plate of deliciousness. So I'm going to serve the ones that came from the oven. Even just by color, you'll be able to see the difference. I'm going to plate them and put them together. Then you will tell me which one looks better in the comments. I'll wait to see what you guys have to say, which one works for them, and which one you're going to try to do at home. how my plate would be and would sit on this one with jemmy and just take them down show them who is the boss so guys there you have it our two different ways of cooking rice hoppers these ones are fran, fran cook, pan cooked and these ones are oven baked I hope you can see a good picture of them all. They may look the same, but they are not. Sometimes the, the screen does not show justice to these guys. And then those are the ones that came from the oven. Do you see the difference? I would go for these ones anytime. And you guys are welcome to pick which one came out best for you and which one you preferred thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing and special thanks go out to our friends who have just come on board from jamaica from uk and from oraka besa i don't know where you my friend you come from but this goes out to you thank you until next time Bye-bye and God bless.